Good morning, men. Let's all take a seat and get this thing started. I don't have much to say. We are playing the Dolphins in their home. Believe it or not, that's a good thing for us because we play like a bunch of Bunko Festers in pads when we are home at the Meadowlark Lemonlands. So let's settle down and talk for a minute and then we can all get prepared for this game today. I'm not going to sit here and tell you all sorts of shit to do. You know what you have to do. You have to go out and play football for 60 fucking minutes on all three sides of the ball. And you need to go after their quarterback. What's his name? Tutti alla tavola a mangiare. Anyway, go after that guy because he's dangerous and that offense is dangerous too. But I'm not going to tell you what you need to do because at this point, if you don't know what to do, then we've made a mistake bringing you in here, paying you and putting you out on the field. But here is what I will tell you. The Dolphins put on their pants one leg at a time, just like us. The Dolphins wipe their asses after a crap, their fingers poke through the paper, and they get butt mud on their hands. Then they sniff it, just like us. The Dolphins punch each other in the nuts and play pick up the soap blindfolded in the shower, just like us. The Dolphins go hide in their backyard shed in the middle of the day and jerk off to National Geographic magazines just like us. Men, the Dolphins like to dress up as French maids and make their partners slap their asses while tied to the refrigerator just like us. The Dolphins are just human beings. They make mistakes and miss assignments and drop passes and lose games. They just lost last week to Buffalo. And the last time I looked, the Dolphins had only one perfect season and have not won the Super Bowl since Don Shula had jet black nut hair. No, the Dolphins can be beaten. So, how do we win today? We play a perfect game, gentlemen, on all three sides of the ball. Offense, defense, special teams. We line up against them and we smash them right in the mouths every single play. We don't just hit them. We hit them hard every time. We block them hard. We tackle them hard. We run hard. But most importantly, and I'm talking to the offensive linemen, if you cannot control the line of scrimmage, then we are fucked every which way but loose. If the offensive line doesn't step up, then this is all a sham of a scam, of a farce, of a joke, of a team who went backwards instead of forwards after last year. And that's it. I have nothing else to say. We play today at 1 p.m. You have two choices. You can look like a football team, or you can look like Siegfried and Roy getting hammered in their keisters by lions. It's your choice, gentlemen. Each and every fucking one of you. And it will take each and every one of you to win this game. One blown blocking assignment can be a sack, a missed field goal, a run for a loss, a block punt. One missed tackle can give them a first down, a big game, or a score. We can't have 10 men play great on every play. We need 11 men to play great on every play. That's it. Go get your minds right. Go figure out what you need to do. You are the New York football giants. Now play like giants who are from the greatest city in the world. Go Big Blue.